Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at a quarterback, which is just a variation of what you're going to see here. That's a, a standard quiggy. You, you've probably seen this um, footage before. Uh, it was used on our, and this one as well, it was used on our, um, what is the difference between a short side and open side quickie and when to use them. And you can just see we've, we've got two quickies that um, have just scored between the two middles. I'll just quickly go through the first one, just in case you haven't seen um, the footage of our of our other video, but I'll put a, a link in the description for this one. Okay, so we've got, where's the pen? Two middles. Okay, a quickie involves only two people. What you're going to do is you're going to step to the short side, receive the ball back quickly, and then you're going to try and attack this offside player. Usually he will pull corner, whereas you step back and score in between the middles, which is exactly what happens here. Okay, he attacks offside players just getting onside now, which is when he steps and it opens up the middle, okay? And if you're a defender now, if you're this person here, you've just let that try in, it sucks, but it does happen. Uh, you think to yourself, okay, next time I see this, I'm going to be standing here. I'm gonna close that gap. I'm gonna make it half the size. So they cannot dive between the two middles. And that is defense 101 for the two middles. Nothing gets between the two middles. Okay, so you've just run a quickie, you've just scored on it. Naturally, that's what's gonna happen next. We can skip this one as well. She's just got in, in between the middles. There was a very narrow narrow channel getting through those middles, but she did. So let's talk about a quarterback. And now we have a quarterback. So it's the same setup as a quickie. As you can see here, it is a middle middle. And we're splitting short side to receive the ball. Defender is going to pull a corner, but the other middle is going to get nice and tight because she knows if this manly player gets the ball, she's going to step the offside player and try to gun it normally back through the middles. Okay, and that's the main place to defend. However, a quarterback... Now, I don't know where the name comes from, but if you imagine the NFL, the quarterback gets snapped the ball, and what they do is they get the ball and then they launch it back the other way. So she's got it. This number two is now gonna bounce this way. So we've got the middle coming in to save the dive and all her momentum, I know she's off screen right now, but she's gonna be covering. So all her momentum is going towards that short side. So the manly player now, okay, this is our counter for that. We're gonna bounce open. So we uh, dish the ball from dummy half and we bounce open, hence the quarterback. Some may call it a quarterback because they believe one of the passes has to go forward. But if you do it correctly, as you can see here, both passes have gone back. So she's bounced. As you can see, all the momentum from this girl pulling corner. You'll see um, the other middle in a second on screen that has just been caught wrong-footed, which is is bound to happen. If, you, if you're defending correctly and you're shutting down this, you, you're bound to be caught wrong-footed if, if they run a nice quarterback. Okay, and there that will open up the three on two. So I'll see if I can play that through. I'll have to play it slow motion, otherwise the lines will appear. But there's the short side, quickie, and there's the bounce. And you can see we've got them all sort of against the grain, really. Uh, the way to defend this, we'll go, actually we'll go towards, uh, we'll go through the way to defend it at the end. But we have another clip, again from the same game as the first clip. There's the quarterback. And you do see that, it's a, knock, it's a good knockdown there, but you do see that saving middle. So there's the quickie. Okay, this guy will go short side. Big gap here, so the other middle has to come across and cover it. But while his momentum comes to cover, you bounce the other way, and you can just see all his weight has shifted onto that foot because now he has to stop, shift his weight, start his run again, while now the new ball carrier has already got a head start. Okay, so if you choose the right time to do this, if your middles are really tight, we speak about it in the other video. Okay, you've got tight middles, you can run a reverse quickie. This quarterback is just as good as that. And it, it, it's a, it's you run it at exactly the same time. When you've got tight middles, and they're really protecting this spot here, run a quarterback, run a reverse quickie. You can do either of those, okay? The way to defend this, actually I think I might have one more clip. I think we do have one more clip, it's from, yep. Here's a quarterback. It's a subtle one, this one. Because he doesn't bounce too hard. Quiggy. 
pulling short side. Middle here will come to cover because it's actually they're actually playing it fairly close to the line, so he can almost catch and dive. But the dummy half here, he's going to pass, pop the ball up, and basically bounce back the other way. So you see him pump the brakes. They've closed that gap, and he's just going to score right there. Quarterback. Think of it as a, a, a quickie with a very fast return pass, almost. All right, so I, was, I spoke about the way to defend this. Now, this is in theory the best way I would defend this. It's very actually, it's actually quite difficult to get a read on this. But if you're a link on the open side, so not this link, the other link that's off screen over here, I would be thinking to myself, I wanna see if they're gonna run a reverse quickie or a quarterback, as soon as I see this, as soon as I see that, I'm gonna be flying off the line. I'm gonna be flying off the line, it's what we call sniping. I'll do a video on sniping later, but they snipe. They just fly off the line, and as soon as they get the ball, they're getting jammed, right now. Okay, and the reason they can't get that pass off because if we look back a little bit further, they've got to look at the ball to catch it. That's just the way we catch the ball. We watch the ball, we catch the ball. So they're looking this way. So if you come from the blind as a link, they're not going to see you. So they're not going to think, oh, I'm going to catch this and just immediately throw it. They're going to catch, turn, think they got the, the three on two, and they want to ball play a little bit. But next thing you know, you get in touch there before they actually can make a decision. That's really the only way I can think of it is if, because there's no way, unless you've got a like stupidly agile middle that can turn and chase like that, normally that middle is gonna get beaten. Okay, because he's doing his job here, he now is vulnerable for an expansive play. So I'd snipe, reverse quickie or a quarterback. I'd be looking for that as a link. I'd be getting on the line as the touch is made. It's what we call pre-touch. And I'd be, as soon as they bounce out, I'd fly out. If you start your run, if you start smashing it and they don't run it, you just hold hold up there. It's not the end of the world. Otherwise, you do find yourself trying to do something like that. And you'll need the, the miracle defensive play. So again, oh, we've got the arrows, and I'd snipe now. So I'd be flying at the line. I know they're very close. That'd be very difficult. He was just probably a little bit wide there, that link. Anyway, guys, that's uh, that's just a little thing about the quarterback. Again, check out our video with the open side versus ah, sorry, short side versus open side quickie. It does the open side quickie is something very similar to the quarterback, just it involves one pass. It is harder to do movement wise, 